Hello, today I want to talk about how to make a lasting impression. And to clarify, this is not a video about how to make a good first impression. If I were making a video about that, I would probably suggest doing a bunch of things. Things like making sure you dress well, having good personal hygiene, smiling, making eye contact, sitting or standing up straight, being polite, being friendly, being engaged in the conversation. And these are all good things to do when meeting someone for the first time. They would probably lead to a pleasant interaction and a good first impression. But would this be a lasting impression? Honestly, probably not. I think most people you meet are going to be polite and friendly. You'll have good first impressions of a lot of the strangers you interact with but you're probably not gonna remember a lot of them. Often, these interactions will only ever be surface level conversations. And in order to make a lasting impression, you usually have to go past the surface level. Let me tell you about a few random strangers I've met who've made a lasting impression on me. A few years ago, I was camping with a couple of friends. I had brought some canned food, but had forgotten to bring a can opener. Luckily, there was a little general store on site that sold some, but these weren't the spinny, twisty ones that I was used to. They were the manual ones that looked like this. And I had actually never used one of these types of can openers before. So I asked the person there if she knew how to use it. And this lady straight up roasted me for it. It was good natured and funny, so I enjoyed it. But it was so unexpected. Out of nowhere, she was making fun of me for being a city boy and not knowing how to use a can opener. How was I going to survive in the wild? How had I even survived up until this point? Gee, thanks lady. Although we also ended up getting some ice cream from her and she piled it on. I had ordered a single scoop, but it ended up being more of a quadruple or a quintuple scoop. Gee, thanks lady. Another time, I was out for dinner, and our server was kind of weird, but like, funny weird. Not weird weird. Weird in an unusual but endearing way. We chatted for a bit at the end, and he ended up sharing some personal things about his life. Things that most people probably wouldn't feel comfortable sharing with complete strangers. It was an unexpected but very real conversation. Now, after each interaction, we went our separate ways, and I never saw those people again. I don't know their names, but I do remember them and that interaction with them very clearly. And I can think of many more instances where other random strangers made a lasting impression on me. And each time, it wasn't because they were doing typical good first impression things, where they were being polite, friendly, and kind of boring. No, these were all slightly unusual and unexpected interactions. Now, I'm not saying you need to roast people or be kind of weird in order to make a lasting impression. I mean, you could, but that may not work for everybody. And the lasting impression that you make may not necessarily be positive. Maybe someone else would have gotten more offended if they were being roasted for not knowing how to use a can opener. Maybe someone else would have thought that server was being weird weird and not funny weird. But when it comes to them leaving a lasting impression. I think the key underlying factor here was that all these strangers were just comfortable being themselves. They weren't overly concerned about trying to make a typical good first impression. They had the self-assurance to be their true and authentic selves when meeting someone new for the first time. And this created an interaction that went deeper than surface level. When it comes to meeting strangers, I think a lot of people, myself included, are concerned about making a good first impression. And I mean, it can be a pretty big deal. First impressions set the tone for your interactions and influence how others perceive you. Research suggests that people will form an impression within seven seconds of meeting you. And you don't want to make a bad first impression, especially if it's with a potential employer or romantic interest. But I feel like that concern can sometimes hold people back. Doing all these things to try and make a good first impression is almost like putting on a mask. You're hiding all the weird and quirky parts about yourself, all the things about you that make you, you. And you may be so concerned about making a good first impression that you may forget to be yourself and you may not make an impression at all. If you are polite, pleasant, and boring, you probably won't be remembered. People won't remember a mask, especially when it's one that they see everywhere on everyone. But if you're comfortable being yourself, and strangers can see that in the interaction, you're more likely to leave a lasting impression. People are naturally drawn to those who are genuine and comfortable in who they are. Now, I know this is much easier said than done. Oh, just be yourself. Problem solved. Yeah, no. I know I tend to get pretty reserved around people I don't know very well, especially if I'm trying to impress them. I'm usually only my full, authentic self around people I'm very comfortable with, people I spend a lot of time with, like my close friends. And if you're like me, I think this is actually a good way to approach it. If you want to be your true self when meeting someone new, Treat them like you're assuming you'll become close friends. They may find it unexpected and a little weird at first, but I'm sure they'll come to appreciate it very quickly. And keep in mind, this stranger may also be trying to make a good first impression on you, a stranger to them. They may be wearing their mask of polite friendliness. But if you take the first step in showing you're comfortable being your true self, this may make them feel more comfortable, and they may be their true selves. They may feel comfortable taking off their mask. You'll be able to move past surface level conversation. You may even create a genuine connection 
impression. But at the very least, you'll create a lasting impression. So yeah, at the end of the day, in order to make a lasting impression, you do really have to be yourself. So get out there and start pretending strangers are your best friends. Although if you have a really messed up sense of humor with your best friends like I do, maybe dial it back a little bit. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this video insightful, your thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal development and self-improvement. And let me know in the comments if a random stranger made a lasting impression on you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.